And a good Friday morning to you, Pastor Jerry Scott here with Coffee Break Reflection, coming to you from my office this morning. Had to be here at church a little bit early to receive a delivery. So, have you ever had one of those real cravings for just that special kind of food? Plate of lasagna, or a great grilled burger, or ice cream sundae? (laughs) A few days ago, I just wanted a hot dog. Not just any hot dog. I wanted a hot dog from Hot Dog Johnny's on Route 46 just outside of Belvedere, New Jersey. I I don't know what they do to hot dogs, but there's just something about one of those Hot Dog Johnny hot dogs with mustard and pickle. That's why I want it. (laughs) I enjoyed a couple. Ah, you say, what are you eating that stuff for? Because I like it. That's that's why. (laughs) Let's talk about soul hunger this morning. It's as real as your body's hunger. You do know that, don't you? We, we hunger to know peace. We hunger for security, meaning in life, purpose in life. People chase after all kinds of things to satisfy soul hunger. Achievement, recognition, admiration, sex, fun, religious devotion. Nothing, no one will satisfy our soul hunger like Jesus Christ. Believe me. The word says, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Let me say that again. Blessed, deeply satisfied, knowing joy, are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Peterson's contemporary paraphrase of the Bible says it this way. You're blessed when you've worked up a good appetite for God. He's the food and drink and the best meal you'll ever eat. We know we were made for more than working that job, building a home, falling in love, having kids. You know that. Maybe you've done all that and you're still restless, dissatisfied, feeling unfulfilled. The truth is that only God, through Jesus Christ, can satisfy the cravings of your soul. When we receive Christ by faith, the Holy Spirit takes up residence in us. And as he does, he makes us alive to God, responsive to God's will, and able to fully appreciate this world that we live in. Spirit-filled believers should love better, hear the music of life with greater appreciation, live in joyful hope, truly soul-satisfied. The life that Jesus offers is described in his encounter with a woman in the well at the well in Samaria in John chapter 5. He had met her and she her life was a mess. She had <laughs> chased the cravings of life uh, quite exuberantly and made a mess of herself. She was there at midday drawing water when Jesus met her, saw her need, engaged her in conversation which was in itself a scandalous choice, but that's for another coffee break. And he told her this in the course of their conversation. Everyone who drinks this water from the well will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst again. Indeed, I will become a spring of water in him welling up to eternal life. He says this, when we learn to commune with him, The refreshing, satisfying water of life will be like an artesian well inside of us. We won't have to run here or there or chase some new experience to find satisfaction. We will know peace with God and he will satisfy our soul thirst. A little bit later in the same gospel in John chapter 6, Jesus declared this, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry. He who believes in me will never be thirsty. Are you spiritually hungry today? Are you craving something and maybe you don't even recognize what it is? I believe that the deepest hunger of our being is our need for Christ Jesus, our need to know God, our need to be made alive to the things of God. You don't have to run somewhere. You don't have to find somebody. You don't have to do some great thing to satisfy that need. Jesus says he's here present now with you right where you are. Here I am, he says, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and I will eat with him and he with me. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. 
We can come into his presence. We can meditate in his truth. We can experience his love anywhere, anytime. Don't make the mistake of thinking you can only have spiritual dinner in church. It's not true. Or in a Bible study. It's not true. You can indeed, and you can, and indeed we must learn to sit down in the presence of Christ on a daily basis to pray, to wait, to know, to be satisfied. Only Jesus makes us truly righteous. That's why when he talks about hungering and thirsting for righteousness, he's actually talking about himself because only he can make us right with God. That's what righteousness means. When we are in him, we are reconciled to God, we are forgiven, we are restored to our relationship, and we find life to the full. Ah, friend, this life with all of its responsibilities and with the multiple temptations will, if we allow it to keep us from the table of Christ. Jesus warns this way. He says, don't let your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of life. Maybe, maybe it makes more sense like this. Don't let the sharp expectations, the sharp edge of your expectations be dulled by parties and drinking and shopping. No, he says, know me, search for me. Soul hunger is universal. It is. Just as our bodies require constant nourishment and develop an appetite every day, our spirits hunger too. In the same way that we can temporarily satisfy our hunger with empty calories, and some of us do, and to such an extent we lose our taste for good and nourishing food, we can fill up our souls with endless pursuit of pleasure, games, and even more satisfaction until our spiritual appetite is dulled. Here's a word from the Word. As you read it, may you turn to the only one who can really satisfy your soul. From Isaiah 55, God says, Come to me, all you who are thirsty. Come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money, without cost. Why spend your money on what does not, what is not bread, your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me. Eat what is good, and your soul will delight in the richest of fare. Give ear, come to me, and hear me, that your soul may live. Would you pray with me this morning? Father, thank you for promising that we can be satisfied, that the bread of life will fill us. I pray that you would guide and guard us and bless us, and as we walk with you, that we will be truly blessed. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thank you for another week of Coffee Break Reflections. I so enjoy meeting with you in the morning, and I pray that these Coffee Break Reflections are a blessing in your life. I invite you to join us for worship at Faith Discovery Church this Sunday morning, 10 a.m. You can find us at 33 Brass Castle Road in Washington, New Jersey. If you'd like to join us virtually, you can do so by going to our website, faithdiscovery.com backslash webcast. God bless you. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you right back here with another Coffee Break Reflection on Monday morning. And until then, walk with Jesus. Mm-hmm.